Welcome to the HIAS process. The world's most compact biological nutrient removal technology. The HIAS wastewater treatment process is a pure moving bed biofilm reactor with an enhanced biological phosphorus removal. Proprietary Biomedia provides a surface where a biofilm can grow. To control the bacterial growth the carriers are initially exposed to anaerobic conditions, then aerobic, and back to anaerobic start. After a regular pretreatment, the wastewater enters the reactor in the mechanically agitated anaerobic part, where it is mixed with biofilm carriers. Then wastewater and biofilm carriers flow by gravity through the anaerobic and aerobic zones. At the end of the reactor treated wastewater and sloughed off biofilm leaves the reactor, while the biofilm carriers are conveyed dry back to the start of the reactor. To prevent the plastic carriers from escaping the aeration it is necessary to have a sieve on the outlet of the tank. Treated wastewater and sludge is mechanically separated by filtration. Depending on treatment requirements, treated wastewater could either be released to the recipient or directed towards tertiary treatment. In the first part of the process is an anaerobic zone. Only agitators are used to keep the biofilm carriers suspended in the wastewater. During anaerobic conditions the main bacterial activity is easily degradable carbon uptake by phosphorus accumulating organisms, so-called PAOs, and denitrifying phosphorus accumulating organisms, so-called DNPAOs. These organisms that take up and store carbon under anaerobic conditions are releasing phosphate to the water. Easily degradable carbon is a part of the organic matter content of the wastewater, and it is also produced in the process by anaerobic fermenting bacteria. After the anaerobic treatment, the wastewater and carriers enter the aerated zones by free flow. In the aerobic zone the oxygen will promote biological removal as well as ensure a proper mixing of the biomedia. When PAOs and nitrifying bacteria get access to oxygen they start to take up phosphate and ammonium. Any excess carbon after the anaerobic phase is degraded by heterotrophic bacteria. The consumption of oxygen by heterotrophic bacteria PAOs and nitrifiers ensures deeper layers of biofilm without oxygen. These deeper layers in the biofilm will be anoxic because of the nitrification producing nitrite or nitrate from ammonium. The simultaneous nitrification and denitrification, called SND, takes place in the aerated part of the reactor in different layers of the biofilm. The biofilm carriers are lifted dry out of the water in the last aerated chamber. When only the biomass and not water is returned to the anaerobic stage, there is no nitrite, nitrate or oxygen returned that would have reduced the performance of the biology. This is also beneficial for the hydraulic retention time needed in this process, compared to other processes. A disc filter is used to separate the biofilm sludge fallen of the plastic carriers. This filter has a large effective filter area with 40M mesh which separates sludge and water. The sludge proceeds to further treatment and the water is led to the recipient. With the HIAS process our water treatment will be completed after the disc filter and no further process will be required before release to the recipient.
The HIAS process is the world's most compact biological nutrient removal technology. It saves up to 50% footprint, up to 30% investment cost, up to 40% operational expenses, and reduces the carbon footprint drastically. The HIAS process is easy to operate and resilient to hydraulic shocks like seasonality and stormwater events. It underlines its uniqueness with a peer recovery potential of 95%, low sludge production and a high sludge dewaterability.